We begin with a historic decision from Japan, where the cabinet has just adopted a resolution to lift the ban on the country's right to exercise collective self-defense. Right, the move lays the groundwork to significantly expand Japan's military options and allows it to aid allies under attack outside its own borders. Of course, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has aggressively pursued the change since taking office 18 months ago, despite opposition at home and abroad. Strong opposition, indeed. The move is considered the biggest shift in Japan's defense policy since the end of World War II, and means Tokyo has taken a step closer to expanding its military role in Asia. The South Korean government has previously said that Japanese forces will not be allowed on the Korean peninsula without consent.